Hopefully it's fresh. Give me some good news, man. The deep waters of the Caribbean Sea are including tiger, black tip, and bull, all of which are known to be aggressive towards humans. I don't care how much experience you have in the ocean. To see sharks below you swimming around in circles and getting closer is extremely unnerving. In this scenario, Matt and Joe dive into the wreckage. <laughs> One of the guys is with the plane on a tiny little rock. The other guy bailed out on the other side of a larger island. So now they're separated, and they've got to find each other. Matt! <laughs> This place sucks. This island's pretty damn flat. There's not even a terrain feature I can get on to look out. So I'm basically looking through brush right now, and I'm not seeing anything. That's a good sign. Looks like there's a lagoon right in the center of this place. But I'm not going to take the time to check it out. I'm going to go find Matt. That's my objective right now. As Joe closes in on Matt's position, Matt moves from gathering all the floating debris he could to inspecting the interior of the plane's fuselage. As I'm looking through the plane, I'm seeing all kinds of scattered parts, tangled up wires and other resources and supplies. You never know. One item could make all the difference to finding rescue or not. Matt! Matt! <laughs> 지금은 우선 짝을 찾을 때입니다. This is huge. Now we can team up, come together. Now we got four hands, two brains. After gathering all the resources they could salvage, they made their way to shore, only to discover... Oh, no! It's salt water. The mile-wide island is barren of any freshwater source. Man, this place is nasty. On an island like this, you're going to die of one of three things. Dehydration, starvation, or exposure. The first one that's going to get you is dehydration. If you think you're going to live three days without water here, you're going to have a better chance of playing pickup sticks with your butt cheeks. We got a bunch of different little sections of wire off the plane. Wire's really great in a survival situation for tying up things, snares, bindings. This is really key out here. Got a cargo net here. There's a pin. That should come in quite handy if we got to write a note or a message. Got the crowbar. And nothing else. If Joe gets out of line. Oh. There's a set of headphones there. Dreams I'm telling you, I wish I could hear the tunes, but I'm not hearing the tunes out here. Stuff like this that looks benign, over time, you know, all this will get used for something. And one soggy book. At least Joe and I can read each other's stories. Bags look a little empty there. Dude, I couldn't believe it. It's actually salt water. Bummer. So here, here's, here's what I'm thinking. When I was on my way over to find you on the first day, I saw another smaller island off the point down there. So I think while we have the energy and the strength, we should go check out that other island, unless you've got an, another idea. Yeah, I agree. It doesn't look like it's going to rain either. No. It's moving pretty quick. Let me try something real quick. Look at that, dude. That's a riptide heading straight out to sea. We've got some real serious problems here because we've got a riptide that's probably going about three to four miles an hour, and that's going to play havoc on our swim. It looks risky, but there is a little bit more elevation on this island than ours. That means there's probably a better chance of a freshwater reservoir up there somewhere. So what I hear you saying is it's worth the swim. Well, the current's going that way. Maybe if we position ourselves upstream of it, we can kind of circle around. I know it's a longer route, but it'd be safer than just diving right in. Yeah, I got a funny feeling. If we go in here, we're going to shoot out. Yeah. A little farther of a swim, but smart. Matt, don't look down. We've got some company below us. See him? 안녕하십니까, 행님들. 오직의 인사 한번 박습니다. Keep moving slowly. Try not to splash. Why don't you stand on my shoulders, and then once you get out, pull me up. OK. Ready? One, two, three. Good. Yeah. 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 
Matt and I just got to this little rock of an island. It was a rough swim. We had a lot of things to contend with, but now that we're here, hopefully we can find some water. Oh yeah. What do you got? Got some water. Dude, this would solve a lot of problems. Hopefully it's fresh. Give me some good news, man. Nothing. Hey, You're fresh. Dude, get in the freaking water. <laughs> it's good. Where'd you get that sense of humor from? <laughs> I learned it from you. Yeah, okay. Dude, let's talk about something. What about setting up shop here instead of hauling our stuff back and forth? I know that channel has sharks in it, mm -hmm. um, but I mean, we need to think of every contingency. Just got this idea that he can stay here for a while, but it's very brushy and dense here. That means we're not gonna be able to signal rescue from a plane or a boat for that matter. I mean, if we were to sound a camp out, I'd say, hallelujah, let's just sit down by the water hole. But all signal's right. a big issue right now. We're not gonna find rescue or anything it's surrounded by all these trees. I just wanted to throw it out there, dude, just, yeah. just because, I mean, we need to think of every contingency. And for us to cut down stuff here, I mean, it would just, it would just be an exercise in futility. All right, man, that is a lifesaver right there. What do you got there, bro? Uh, I've been working on a fish spear, <laughs> taking all the different parts from the plant. It'll be good if I have a smaller fish that I'm chasing down in the shallows. Yeah. Because when the fish hits, slide, spread that out, and then open it up and hold the fish. Nice, dude. Well thought out. Very nice. Then I took the tube and made a single barb so it'll penetrate really nicely and then basically just nicked out some spots to give some barbs so it'll hold the fish if I have to throw it like a javelin. Yeah. I've been spear fishing for years. It's a big part of what I've used for survival and I'm not seeing a lot of animal life on this island so I feel like the best focus right now is to focus on the sea. I'm coming to the spot along the shoreline where the tide's gone out and it's left some trap pools. So I'm trying to find something that's at least 10 inches or more. Looks like a red snapper. I think it got stuck in here when the tide went down. I'm not really familiar how a red snapper's gonna react when I throw a spear, so I'm keeping my approach really gentle and careful. Good solid shot, it hits the mid body. I rush in to make sure it doesn't slip off. I got this gorgeous red snapper. It's an amazing meal. Best way to kill a fish that size is just a swift hit right on the back of the skull. This snapper will provide Matt and Joe with much needed protein. Oh, I smell something. Oh yeah. Oh, dude. I struck out, man. I didn't even see a fish bigger than two inches long. That's all right. I think this guy will feed both of us tonight. Dude, freaking home run. What kind of fish is that, dude? Grouper? What is that thing? That's a red snapper. Nice job, man. Oh, I'm so excited about this fish. You know, when you got water and some fish and a beautiful sunset, it's not such a bad place. Mm -mm. I, I know what's going through your mind right now. No. You got that look, dude. There it is. Look, there it is, right there. No, oh, no. I want to stay here, Joe. I want to camp. Trust me, yeah. if a boat or a plane comes by, I'm on board with you yeah. on this one. Yeah. I'm just saying, it's it's not bad. Yeah. Not bad now. Yeah, that's yeah, looking great. Oh, yeah, man. Bring over your plate. Yeah. It's freaking good. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> that's so nice. So what I'm doing right now is I've got a piece of the wing. And as you can see, it's white. And I'm on some black rocks here. So I've got some decent contrast and movement in the wind. At an adjacent point, Matt uses parts of two different local trees and some fabric strips from one of the shirts he recovered from the plane to draw further attention to this side of the island. That should be good right there. I've got three lined up. So three is a universal distress signal. And 
Aside from the fact that this is a survival situation, we're really in paradise. We're in a tropical environment. We got our signals up. So at this point, we're just gonna keep hunting, hunker down, get out of the sun when we can, and go on with our lives. Joe, let's play. Hey! That's what that's all about. I'm stuck on a deserted island. Be prepared for the long haul. Get as many signals up as you can. But after that, you just gotta call it your home.